All right, students, this is Lesson 10, Session 4, mold Modeling and Solving Multi-Step Problems. These pages you should finish before you watch this video. Um, I'm going to go over the answers to 209, 210, 211, and 212. So if you have not completed pages 209 to 212, Go ahead and pause this video, go and do those pages so that way you have practice and then come back and complete these pages when you're done. All right, students, if you are still watching this, then that means that you have pages 209 to 212 finished in your math book. You need a pencil and paper and your word problem card. <coughs> All right. A pet store has 18 rabbits. That is three times the number of cats the store has. Write and solve an equation to find how many rabbits and cats the store has altogether. Check the reasonableness of your answer. Show your work. What is this problem about? Well, it's about a pet store, and they have cats and rabbits, and they want to know how many they have altogether. What information is important? It's important to know that they have 18 rabbits, and it's important to know they have three times that number of cats. And then also um, the word altogether is important because altogether tells me that I'm going to add. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many rabbits and cats the store has altogether. Can I draw a model to solve this problem? Yes, I can. So first, I am going to draw right here that I have 18 rabbits. And then I'm going to draw another thing that shows three times that many. So I have 18, 18, and 18 because um, this is rabbits. And this is three times as many as how many cats there are. So, it wants me to write an equation, write and solve. So, I'm going to solve it like this. If I do 18 plus 18 plus 18, or I can also do 18 times 3. So, if I make my model here for 18 times 3, I shouldn't have wrote that right there. This will be 10 plus 8. So 10 plus 8, 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 8 is 24, 30 plus 24 is 54. So there's 54 cats and 18 rabbits, and they want to know how many are all together. So 18 plus 54. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, 6, 72, all together. But they want a model. So if we do a model, we can do 3 times 18, because that would give us this answer. But then we add 18 for the rabbits, because this is cats, this is rabbits. And we got a total of 72, because 3 times 18 is 54, plus 18, which equals 72. And that is how we solve this problem. <coughs> Go ahead and turn to page 210. Taylor earns $5 each time she walks her neighbor's dog. She has already earned $25. Write and solve an equation to find out how many more times Taylor needs to walk the dog to earn enough to buy a bike that costs $83. Check the reasonableness of your answer. Show your work. <laughs> so she needs to earn $83. Okay. She has already earned Twenty-five dollars. 
but she needs to earn this much more to have enough to buy a bike. If you remember from lesson one, when we have a problem like this, it is a subtraction problem. So, I'm going to take 83 minus 25 equals, we'll put a B for bike, okay? I don't like writing it this way, so I'm going to rewrite it up and down. 8, can't do that, so 13 minus 5 is 8. 7 minus 2, so she needs to earn 58 more dollars. But is that what we're asking, how much more she needs to earn? No. It is asking how many more times does Taylor need to walk the dog to earn enough to buy? So our problem here, we're going to start with this. So it's going to be 83 minus 25. But then we're going to have to divide it by the $5 to get our actual answer. We know that 83 minus 25 now is 58. So we have to do 58 divided by 5. If I skip count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, if I go to 60, that's too much. So that's 11. 11 times 5 is 55, so that means I'm going to have 3 left. So it's 11, remainder 3. Well, is she going to have enough money to walk to buy the bicycle if she only walks it 11 times? No. She's going to be short just a little bit. So she's going to have to walk the dog 12 more times to have enough money to buy the bike. This is called interpreting the remainder. She won't have enough money to walk the dog, so she's going to have to walk it 12 times. <coughs> Number three, Tiana sells 47 boxes of oranges for the fundraiser. Tim sells 12 fewer Fewer means less. Less usually means subtract than Tiana. How many more boxes of oranges does Tim need to sell in order to sell 60 boxes? So this is a two-part problem. First, we have to do 47 minus 12 to find out how many he sold so far. So 47 minus 12 is going to be 5, 35. But he needs to sell 60, okay? So then we're going to do 60 minus 35. This becomes a 5, that becomes a 10, so 5 and 2. So 10 needs to sell 25 more boxes. Shauna chose A as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? Well, I bet you anything she added these. What's 47 plus 12? That's 9, and that's 5. And it said he wanted 60, so 60 minus 59 is 1. So she added 47 plus 12 instead of subtracting. And that's how she got that answer. Okay. On page 211, we're at the top for number four. Franklin uses three eggs to make a large omelet and two eggs to make a small omelet. How many eggs does he need to make five large omelets and four small omelets? Okay. So he needs three eggs for a large two eggs for a small. He has 
five large, so one, two, three, four, five, and four small. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, five. So this is the cutoff. So this is the large, and these are the smalls. He needs three eggs for each large and two eggs for each small. So three times one, two, three, four, five. Two times one, two, three, four. And then we need to add them together. So three times 15, or three times five is 15. Two times four is eight. And then 15 plus eight. Eight plus five is 13. 1 plus 1 is 2, so he needs 23 eggs. <laughs> Number 5. Petra walks 9 miles the first week of this month. Okay, Twice that far the second week, so 9, this is week 1. Week 2, she said twice that much. And 6 miles the third week on week three. Okay, which equations can you use to find how many miles Petra walks all together? Okay, nine plus nine plus three times six. Where did the three come from? I have no idea. That one can't be right. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6. Well, here's 9 one time, 9 two times, 9 three times, and 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6. Yep, this one will work. 2 times 9, that's what we've got, plus 3 times 6. Hmm. Again, I don't know where that 3 is coming from, so this one's wrong. 9 plus 18 plus 6. Well, if you look here, 9 times 2 is 18. So 9 plus 18 plus 6. Yes, this one would work. 9 plus 2 times 9 plus 6. Yes, this one would also work. That's what we have here. 9 plus 2 times 9 plus 6. And that's it. Number 6. Miss Ruiz plants 14 flowers in three pots, okay? She plants four flowers in one blue pot, okay? This is her blue pot. She plants four flowers. And then she splits the rest of the flowers equally between the two red pots, okay? So this is 14, and we put four in here. That means each of these got five. Okay. Write and solve an equation to find the number of flowers Miss Ruiz plants in each of the two red pots. Well, let's see what we did first. First we did 14 minus four because she planted four. But then when we got our answer, we have two here, so we divided it by two. And then we got five as our answer, because each pot gets five. All right, last page, 212. At the top. Gabrielle owns 27 fiction books and 23 nonfiction books. Each shelf can hold eight books. How many shelves does Gabriel need for all of his Gabriel need for all of his books? Well, first I need to do 27 plus 23. 7 plus 3, 0, 1. So he's got 50 books. And each shelf holds eight. So I need to divide. So if I write my problem, it's going to be 27 plus 23. And we know that's 50. 
But then if each holds eight, to find out how many shelves, we're going to have to divide it by eight books that go on each shelf. So divide by eight. So 50 divided by eight. Well, I know that six times eight is 48, which is really close to this. But then that leaves two books left over. So to hold all of the books, Gabriel's going to need seven shelves because he's got to have some place to put those last two books. And then you do not have to do number eight. So that is it for lesson 10. If you have any questions, let me know so we can do some tutoring.